Great battle, great battle by both teams. You know, that's kind of how I expected it to be. Two New Jersey teams, physical game, sloppy at times. Um, you know, we, we've talked about Kadari all week, his ability to take over. And, you know, he, he really stepped up. 24 points, nine rebounds, six assists. Did a little bit of everything, but extremely proud to be the head coach at NGIT. Um, you know, Elijah Buchanan has been my best player in practice so far. Has looked terrific in the preseason. Unfortunately, he got hurt early and was only able to play six minutes. I had to move Jake Goldberg to the four spot. He never played the four, and uh, my backup center got hurt. So I had to put my four man at the backup five. So I was kind of playing a little bit of musical chairs of the lineup, but uh, I'm extremely proud of the effort that my guys gave me tonight. James. Grant, what, what do you think of uh, just one through nine? You outscored their bench 23 to one. You see toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and a lot of hustle stats. What did you think one through nine of what you got? Yeah, you know, well, the one thing, well, the one thing we've always talked about is, you know, when you get your opportunity, be ready to go. And I think our guys practice extremely hard. So, by no means was was I surprised about the effort we got. Um, Tariq Francis is is the nephew of Brandon Knight. Um, you know, he, he didn't play his best game today, but you can kind of see he he brings a lot of toughness for us off the bench. And Jake Goldberg's another kid that. You know, didn't have a, a single scholarship. And Brian Nash, who actually recruited me to Seton Hall, said, I believe in this kid so much, I'm going to put him on an airplane and I'm going to let him come to your campus and work out. And he's a kid who had 12 points, six rebounds, and had, had him played a single possession of the power forward spot for us all year in practice. Um, so as much as people talk about, you know, the transfer portal, that kind of helped me because a kid like Jake Goldberg, who goes to a prestigious school like IMG Academy, for that kid not to have a scholarship, you know, come the end of April is, is pretty incredible. Grant, is your philosophy going to be now move the ball, pitch, and shoot a lot of threes? Because your ball moving in the first half was superb, and I think in the second half, Seton Hall tightened up on you. Um, I think we want to take the right threes. You know, I'm not a guy that says, you know, I don't think we're going to take 28 threes every game. Um, but, you know, I think Seton Hall did a good job, especially defensively in the second half, tightening up the court and not allowing us to get to the rim. And, you know, we made some really unselfish plays. I, I, I love the way we shot the three in the first half, seven for 14 in the second half. Unfortunately, they tighten up, and I, I think our guys ran out of gas a little bit. James, you talked about having freshmen, but there were a few of them that were already playing beyond their years. What can you say about what Jake and Tariq gave you tonight, and then Adam in the first half as well? You were impressed with his shooting ability. Yeah, J J Jake and Tariq, I, you know, they, they brought great energy and great toughness all for the bench, but, you know, th th those guys are, you know, two kids that compete every day, um, and those are two kids that play with a chip on their shoulder, um, you know. They're, they're two guys that didn't have scholarships in April. Um, and, and two guys that are hungry to be here, love being here, love being a part of the program, and they're great. And Adam Hess is, you know, he, he, he's, he did what he did early on. Unfortunately, he got a little tired. And, you know, it was a little tough in the second half because I was trying to run stuff to get him the basketball to shoot. But a lot of our offense goes through Elijah Buchanan. And unfortunately, I put Jake at that position. And every time I would call a play, Jake would kind of look at me like, Coach, I have no idea what that play is. And I was trying to talk him through it. So our offense wasn't very crisp. Jason? Coach, this being your first season, uh, a lot of the folks that came out to see the game uh, haven't been to this facility yet, haven't seen your team, obviously, yet. What do you hope that the, the people who are, were unfamiliar with either this building or, or your program uh, take away from this, uh, this game? That this, is, uh, this program's on the rise. You know, this is an unbelievable facility. We got a great group of kids. We have a lot of local kids. Um, and they need to have a crowd like today or better, you know, going forward. Um, these kids give it everything they have. This is a very challenging academic school. So they, they, it's, it's great for them to come out and, and, and have support like today. Uh, 
collaboration to be there for raising money for Jerry Walker? What do you expect, you know, your feelings about that? I, I, I thought today w was a win-win for everyone involved. You know, we, we were able to help out Jerry Walker. We were able to shine a light on his foundation. Um, for Shaw's kids, you know, they were able to play a game on the road, also get the experience playing down in Newark and taking a bus trip to their home arena that's four minutes away. And for our guys, they got a chance to play a Big East team in their building. Um, other than winning the game, I don't think we could have asked for much more today. Um, you know, it was a good, good crowd support. I think both teams battled extremely hard. What does it say about your, you and your team that, you know, you really put Seton Hall to the test, a uh, team that's, you know, that's playing in a major conference that has these tournament as aspirations? What does it say about you and your team that you took Seton Hall to the brink? You didn't make it on top, but you kept, you were competitive the entire way through. Yeah, to be honest with you, I, I had no idea how today was going to go because um, I've never coached these guys in a game. But, I walk through our practice gym and go down in our locker room, and I know every day we have a very competitive, high-energy practice. So I knew if they played the way they always practice day in and day out, that from a competitive standpoint, we would be fine. Two, two questions. What, what happened to Elijah? Is he okay? I, I don't know. He, he's kind of a kid that's dealt with a lot of injuries. Um, when, when Elijah is healthy, and playing well, you know, he's an all-league player. Last weekend, he was absolutely phenomenal. Um, the kid, the kid was arguing Coach Storrs, his coach in Manhattan, to go back in the game. Um, but unfortunately, you know, today was October twenty-eighth, and for our season and for our, and and his longevity of his career, I, I couldn't put him in that position to go back on the court and re-injure himself, and us not have him going forward. So. We'll, 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 we'll see how bad the injury is going forward. My second question is, uh, what do you think the chances are that this will happen again next October? I don't know if this particular exhibition will happen, but I have a feeling going forward we will be playing Seton Hall. Um, so I, I think it's a great game. I think it's a great game for the city of Newark. It's a great game for the state of New Jersey. Um, for me as a coach going against you know an elite coach who was able to take St. Peter's to the Elite Eight in this one of the most respected head coaches in the country. It's a great test for us, and I think it's great for the city and for the state if, if we continue to play this game. One more, maybe? I have one more. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Give me the mic. You, you, uh, you coached Kadari one season. I did, yeah. Well, what do you think of his potential uh, at this particular year now, putting it all together at Oak Hills? <clears throat> there, there's two versions of Kadari. Um, for Seton Hall, they got the good version. For me, I got the bad version because <laughs> – you know, if he, if he decides that he wants to take over a game, you know, he's going to take over a game. And him and Al Dawes, you know, they were two guys we t we spent a lot of time talking about. Um, it looks like they combined for 37 points. So you can talk about it. Um, I just think we got a little bit worn down there t t towards the end of the game. Um, but one thing about Kadari, besides being a great player, he's a phenomenal kid. Um, my, my daughter still asks about Cooks all the time. So he's, uh, you know, he kind of comes off as a little bit quiet, but he is one of the most respectful, nicest kids I've been around. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks guys. I'll see, hope to see you guys. Uh, I think Seton Hall.